were you not entertained? Guys, I have to give it up for this housemate. And uh, two things that I'm going to take out of this whole widget tax presentation of today is save money today so that that money will save you tomorrow. That was from Makeke on his podcast with Mac Jr. And then the second thing I'm going to say again is uh, in a relationship as a Nigerian guy, we know that whenever a Nigerian guy is in a relationship, I think he takes over 100% of finance in that relationship. But given what the world is turning against now, or what the world is right now, we always go for 50-50. And uh, I like how Z put it. When it comes to finance, a guy should at least contribute 80% of the finance. But when it comes to house or home shows, the lady should contribute 80 80 percent and the guy should contribute 20 percent and uh, that is nicely put and then for the podcast for the podcast between papa ghost and snai where they talked about uh, who is the best between c ronaldo and lionel messi guys i don't think we have to be making that a uh, comparison anymore because for me personally I'm a fan of both of them, but given what they have achieved, both of them, I think it's safe to say that I'll be leaning towards Messi being the greatest of all time. But if you feel like Ronaldo is better than Messi, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section and uh, give me the reason why you think Ronaldo is better than Messi. And also, for all the things that happened during this podcast, let me know what your takeout is from each of the podcasts that happened today. Guys, I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks, and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. So for this week's wager presentation, Big Brother team did get influenced. So it's all about being in the shoes of influencers, uh, content creator, and brand ambassador. So this housemate, after getting their brief, decided to wager for 80% of their shopping allowance and in today's wager presentation big brother gave this housemate one hour to make a presentation or to get influence or to influence him as a customer and then for the housemate to act as brand ambassadors so for this week big brother tells this housemate to unleash their inner influencers and uh, to create content to highlight the brands that are in the house and uh, the, the brands that are sponsoring this season of Big Brother and guys, this housemate, they understood the assignment and they delivered. Big Brother also told them that he wants to see their prospects as podcasters. And guys, I have to say, I will be on the lookout for whatever this housemate will do. Because if they have to go into entertainment, be it brand ambassadors or be it podcasters, like... Whatever it is that they have to do in podcasting, I will be listening to it 100%. Because today, this housemate, we are so engaging. From start to finish, during the whole podcast, everything they were engaging from start to finish, during the whole collage presentation, it was so engaging from start to finish. Even when you look at the quality of the video that they did, it shows that, okay, these people, they have what it takes to call themselves content creators and they have what it takes to call themselves podcasters. Watch this video to the end and then the last, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. And guys, if you are coming across my channel for the first time, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and then I will see you guys. So Big Brother tags this house me to create content around brands in the house. And then some of these brands that the house made we are creating content about was a Unilever, Unilever handles all the detergent and uh, cleaning uh, materials in the house. Robertson Spice. Robertson Spice has been there. It helps this housemate during their whole cooking and uh, brian uh, time on uh, Thursday parties. Also, Lodo Star. Lodo Star, as we know, is the headline sponsor of this season. And then also, last but not the least, Captain Morgan. So this housemate had to create content around these four brands. And guys, I have to be honest with you. 
Like, I know that I've been saying it in this channel every Thursday, that this housemate lacked the ability to understand what the brief gives them, or that they lack the ability to interpret what Big Brother wants them to deliver every Thursday. But you see, for today, there's this saying, when much is given, much is expected. You see, today, I'll have to say I'm sorry to the housemate for calling them out, and I give them their flowers because today they did me very, very proud from start to finish. Like immediately the whole presentation started. All I was saying is, wow, wow, wow. And I kept asking myself, why didn't they wager for 100 percent? Why 80? If you know that this is the kind of material that you will present, why not wager 100 percent? So that's the question I've been asking myself. Why not 100 percent? percent so big brother has tagged them and uh, gave them sequence on how to do the whole tax presentation for the first presentation they'll have to do a podcast for the second round they have to do a collage presentation then the next another podcast comes with another collage presentation then another podcast in total this house me did four podcasts and uh, four collage presentation and guys I have to tell you the truth. The first podcast set the bar high for the rest of the housemates. And uh, the first podcasters were Sinaye and Papa Ghost. And uh, their, their team, or the name of their podcast show is Good Talk. You all know, whenever it comes to good debate, there's always someone who you think is the greatest of all time, and then someone else will have their greatest of all time. So that's the debate these housemates are doing. The team is to debate who is the greatest of all time in different sports. Be it tennis, be it swimming, be it soccer, or rugby. This housemate debated on who the greatest of all time is. And we know that whenever it comes to the good debate, that the highest or that the most controversial debate is CR7 and M10. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. So, who is the greatest of all time? Even during this uh, their debate, Papagos was siding with CR7. Senayo was siding with Lionel Messi. And me being a fan of both of them, I'm just there sitting, I'm like, wow. So, these guys, even with the materials Big Brother gave them, and uh, a little bit of knowledge about football, they were giving points after points after points and uh, they try to influence me as an audience, to be honest with you, with the way that they were talking about it and uh, carrying me along. I have to say, I'll be leaning towards Sinai. Because, guys, Sinai is the best when it comes to podcasting. Take me anywhere. I will support him and uh, I'll be looking forward to whatever he does outside of the house. So, the next thing that the housemate did was collage presentation. And then for this collage presentation, it's all about Captain Morgan. So during the course of this week, this housemate took different pictures of different brands that they have to influence and they kind of create a lasting impression on our mind. The pictures, they spoke for itself. The next podcast was with Makeke and Mark Jr. And guys, one thing about these two housemates is their synergy. Whenever they are put together to showcase their talent, it's like one person is helping the other and this person is helping the other. Remember the tax where they did facing their fear, where both of them acted as a police detective. Guys, I have to say, seeing them again in another role, a different setting, and then them nailing it and delivering. I have to say that whenever the show is over, these two guys, Makeke and Mark Jr., they have to put their minds together and come up with one show. And I think I speak for all of us Big Brother and Zanzi fan that these two housemates, they have what it takes to go far in the entertainment industry. So after the whole podcast between Makeke and Mark Jr., they talked about empowering the youth. It's all about money talk. The name of their uh, podcast show is Vuga Clever. It's a, I don't know if it's Zulu or, I don't know. But I know with the accent, it comes with South African vernacular. So it's Vogat Clever. 
the way they pronounce it. I don't know if I'm getting it right. So it's all about uh, empowering the youth and uh, teaching the youth the language of money. Like, as Makeke said, as someone who is not, uh, who has been in the neighborhood or who is from the street, who hasn't been employed for all his life, to just wake up one morning, you are employed, and then your normal allowance since growing up used to be 500, 1,000 rands, and then all of a sudden, you start making 15,000 rands, 20,000 rands, and you see that you can afford some of those things that you couldn't afford before. Like, you have this sense of, let me get this, let me get this, let me spend money on this, let me spend money on this. And at the end of the day, you see that the money you are getting before its moon end or before its payday, you are already lacking behind or you are already owing more than you are making. So, for their podcast, Makeke dropped a line that kind of spoke value to me. He said, save money today so that that money will save you tomorrow. And this goes out to everybody watching. Either youth or millennial or Gen Z's, whatever category you see yourself. Money and finance is one of the topics that we don't speak much. Whenever it's relationship, people don't speak about money. Uh, friendship, people don't speak about money. Or anything like money should be one of the topics that should be taught in school how to spend money how to make money that is one of the main topic that everybody should know how to do your tax how to do this or how to maintain your lifestyle because from the podcast Makeko was like yes driving the fancy cars or being a party person or a groovist yeah that might be your way of life but saving money and putting money aside and also maintaining that way of life is what they are teaching you can't go to a bar spend like four thousand or ten thousand rands on drinks but in your house you don't have groceries your mom doesn't have groceries at home that is a wasted life so what they are trying to teach with this podcast is yeah, spend your money, drink on weekends, do whatever it is that you want to do. But set priorities. Set priorities. Get the groceries first. Make necessary finances and uh, pay the necessary dues that you have to pay. And then save some. Then whatever is left, you can now party away with it. So that's the second podcast and that is my takeaway from it. Save money today so that that money will save you tomorrow. So for their second collage, it's all about promoting and influencing and being a brand ambassador for Lotto Star. I have to give Mac Junior. Mac Junior knows how to make these housemates laugh. When he was doing the whole presentation and talking about how this housemate posed for different pictures they took with the Lotto Star check and uh, the Lotto Star apparels that the housemates were wearing. He made a joke about how him and uh, Papa Goes are best of friends. And guys, we know that since week two, this housemate have been the worst enemies in the house. So for him to make that joke and get the likes of Papa Goes, who is a sworn enemy to him, to bust out laughing, I think that is the highlight of today's wager tax presentation. So kudos to him for pulling that off. Podcast 3 was the next in line, and it was between Mpumi and will and uh, i don't know if i got it right but the theme of their podcast is all about pretoria culture and the name of the podcast that's where i am having issue i didn't quite hear what mpumi said if it's the tongue or the town so please for those of you that watched it let me know in the comment section is it the tongue or the town because i'm now the two i don't know which is which so it's all about promoting Pretoria culture, PTA culture, and uh, the lingos in Pretoria, everything that makes Pretoria what it is today. They talked about it, and uh, I think it's safe to say that for those of us living in South Africa and those of us not living in South Africa, when you watch the podcast, you'll be forced to want to visit Pretoria. As Mpumi said, 
Pretoria is made up of all the provinces in South Africa. When you come to Pretoria, you can see people from Northwest, you can see people from KZN, you can see people from all different uh, aspects of South Africa. And, both of, and all of them come together to make up Pretoria. And from their mouth, they say that Pretoria is a city of its own. That it's time that Pretoria has, it's time Pretoria is turned into a country of its own. Because they have what it takes to be their own country. After the podcast, it was time for their collage presentation. And for this collage presentation, it was done by Snipe. And uh, the whole presentation revolved around Robots and Spies. And guys, remember, Robots and Spies is celebrating their 100 years of being in existence. So this house made the justice to it by taking pictures of when they were cooking, when they were brying and uh, eating. Like every picture they took was I'm influencing and I'm a brand ambassador of robots and so congratulations to them. The last podcast of this evening was between Sinai and Z and uh, it all revolved around love. One of the most talked about topic in the world we live in now. Love and uh, what goes on in love. Be it uh, brotherly love, be it uh, sisterly love. And uh, they also talked about finances in love. That was when Z said what she said, that whenever it comes to partnership, that yes, people believe that partners should share the bill 50-50. But she's a traditional person who believes that if a man should ask a lady out on a date, that man should pay 100% of everything that goes on during that date. And if a lady should suggest a date to a guy, the lady should pay 100%. And I think 50 Cent said something like that when he was asked on a Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel show who should pay for the date. He said that whoever it is that, insist, that brought up the topic of the date should handle the finances of the whole date. I can't say I'm speaking from experience. I haven't been on much dates. But as a guy who was brought up in Nigeria and seen how dating goes on in Nigeria. Whenever I see my cousins or my nephews go on dates, they take full responsibility of everything. So growing up, I, I thought it was a man's job to take care of finances whenever it comes to relationship. Yes, my mom works, my dad works. But at the end of the day, I don't know how they plan their finance behind closed doors but us growing up all we had to think of oh well it's that that is providing this it's that that is providing this so that is what they were talking about when it comes to relationship and, fin and finances according to z a lady should do 80 percent of the house chores and a guy should contribute 20 percent when they are in a relationship and when it comes to finance in a relationship a guy should contribute 80 percent of the finance and a lady should contribute 20 percent of the finance and as a guy and a lady in a relationship if your lady should be making more and you're thinking to yourself okay yeah she's making more that she's making more than me she should be paying more no what you have to do as a guy in that relationship is to buckle up and uh, work hard that's what Z said. And I think I'm going to go with her and say, yes, you should work hard and make sure that when it comes to finance, you are the sole provider of finance in a relationship. The collage presentation was to influence or be a brand ambassador to Unilever. And we know all the cleaning activities that this housemate has been doing in that house, from cleaning the kitchen, washing the dishes, cleaning the toilet, washing their clothes, all of them has been possible thanks to Unilever sponsoring the show, providing them with handy handy, omo washing powder, domestos, all sort of cleaning materials in the house. This housemate showed us different ways of using those materials to make the house look clean. And in all of the presentation, after they were done, Big Brother played them a vlog that they made. It was a day in life of a big brother in Zamzi season 4 housemate. And the main character in that vlog was Z. And guys, I have to say, being a content creator 
a lot of work goes into being a content creator. But this housemate did it so seamlessly that even watching the vlog, I'm like, wow. Even with the little amount of time they had, they shot this amount of content. They shot this beautiful content. And I'm here sitting and I'm like, wow. They put so much energy, so much detail, so much detail went into creating that kind of content. And I have to say, why did they wager 80%? Why not 100%? But at the end of the day, we're in the last lap of the show. So whether they wagered for 80% or they wagered for 90%, we all know that whatever comes next week, this housemate won't be bothered about wager tax presentation or whether they will eat or not because it's the last week of the show. And we all know from watching the previous Big Brother that whenever it comes to last week, is enjoyment galore. Big Brother will have to be providing this housemate, even throwing them parties on a daily basis. So I think they just said, let's just wager 80%. And I think uh, it has to go with signing out on 80%. Remember, they started this uh, pre tax presentation of the week. The first week, they wagered 80%. So to sign it all off, they had to wager 80%. That is my own way of seeing why they wagered 80%. So after the vlog and uh, how beautiful the vlog was, Big Brother was like, no, roll it back. Let us rewatch this. So Big Brother rewatched it. And uh, after, the, uh, after the whole vlog was played, Big Brother decided to give his verdict. And to be honest with you, Big Brother was so impressed with this housemate. Like seeing how they have matured from week one to week eight and seeing how they have grown. Like, Big Brother was so, so, so super proud of them. And uh, he also gave his honorable mentions on uh, the whole podcast. Big Brother, we thought Big Brother was going to answer or put a stop to the whole Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi debate. But Big Brother left us hanging and uh, went on to congratulate other podcasters and told them, yes, that he has tasked them to show him if they had what it takes to be a podcaster, if they had what it takes to be content creator, if they had what it takes to be brand ambassador, but given how they prepared and what they have presented to him today, he is super proud to tell them that, yes, they are ready to be podcasters, to be content creator, and to be brand ambassadors. And at the end of the day, Big Brother told them, yes, you guys won this week's wager. So guys, after all that happened, I know this video is going to be long, but please bear with me. It's giving this housemate did their best. So if you think that this housemate has what it takes to be content creators, let me know down below in the comment section. Guys, engage. Let's have a dialogue about what happened during this week's wager tax presentation. And also, Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. Who are you leaning towards? To? I'll be ending this video here. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. If you haven't subscribed, please, I'm urging you, we're on route to 13,000. Smash the like button, subscribe, share to your friends, and also engage us in the comment section. I would like to hear your thoughts. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a nice day.